is going on. It's your girl, Scarlett. I want to thank you so much for taking the time to check out our YouTube channel. Um, going to give you another fire, fire ass analysis for the upcoming week. Um, hopefully you were able to capitalize on the previous analysis that we had. Um, and you were able to learn a lot from that. Um, if you haven't already, please, please, if you rock with this video, um, about midway through, give us a like, please comment. And if you haven't, please subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you can get notified every single time we upload and get new updated information on Forex Sniper School and Forex in general. Okay. Now disclaimer, since I am in fact studying for my series seven prior success does not dictate future results, especially with everything going on in the market. You guys got to understand that, um, take pride in learning this on your own as well take pride in um, learning and getting your psychology together or else like why the fuck are you looking at this channel all right so with that let's go ahead and move forward all right so first things first we're actually going to look at dxy then we will come back and take a look at uh the other uh pairs okay so i told you guys um last week that i was paying attention to this range i had this level marked off previously and i said that if it was at in fact able to break that i would be looking for some type of bearish activity down to 98 okay unfortunately um <laughs> that level got respected well not unfortunately i mean you know we knew what areas to pay attention to um we're currently doing kind of like a uh a um descending triangle okay so i'm still not looking for any major uh bearish activity as you can see until 98.83 is broken um if nine if 100.40 is broken then i will be looking for that to go up to the upside to this 102.22 level so that's mainly the information that i'm paying attention to right now okay now let's talk about uj last week so with uj I told you guys that I was really paying attention to this 106371 level and I was able to get a short term sell. I didn't really see any opportunities or uh, signals on like my mid range time frames. So I had to look for opportunities on really small time frames, which means that I was only looking for a specific amount of pips and I only ended up catching about 34 pips. This was my entry. This was my exit. Okay. Um, now overall, um, like I told you guys, UJ is still kind of doing this crazy, uh, consolidation shit. I thought NFP last week was going to be enough information to give us, you know, give us that push that we were looking for, give us that fire, but, uh, it was like, fuck you. And it decided to retrace. I mean, that kind of makes sense, obviously, because USD is the base, uh, part of the currency and the dollar ended up rising because, uh, the DXY is in that consolidation range. So here we are now I am still expecting some type of bearish activity. Overall, um, I'm looking to pay attention to the 106804 and 106938 to see if I can get the necessary reactions that I'm looking for to, in fact, take the sell. I'm not going to look for any major buy activity until uh, this 107504 level is, in fact, able to break. And if it is, in fact, able to break, then I'm going to be looking to go to the upside um, and, you know, do like a bullish rally. Just just kind of still short term, though, because four hour is the only time frame that's really bullish out of the majors, um, major players. Uh, like I said, the higher time frames as of right now, like weekly and daily, they're still bearish. So uh, that's something that I gotta really kind of pay attention to. But it makes sense why UJ is kind of in a chaotic kind of structure right now, simply because you got you know, uh, monthly bullish and you got weekly that's bullish, but it's in a bearish channel. Then you got daily, like you got so many different time frames doing different things. And that's why the structure is kind of rocking back and forth. So if you don't know how to trade this type of situation, I would recommend avoiding this entirely. Okay. But overall I am still in, uh, still expecting UJ to be bearish for this upcoming week. Okay. Now, uh, I think we spoke about UCAT. So UCAT. Okay. So i listen, I be on point with my shit. <laughs> I'm just saying your girl be knowing what the fuck she's talking about, you dick. But I mean, if you don't listen, that's on you. All right. So um, I told you guys that uh, UK, I'm still ex expecting a retracement. I told you that four hour is still bullish. However, it was giving a lot of bearish uh, activity for the minor structure levels. All right. So as of right now, um, I told you guys that, uh, I was, if I was going to try to take anything off the one hour, it wasn't going to be long. It wasn't going to be, it was going to be extremely short lived. It wasn't going to be long term. Go back and listen to what I said before this happened. Like price was right here. And I specifically said, Hey, I'm not really looking for you cat to be bullish for a long term. 
know what I'm saying? So if anything, like it's going to be extremely short term on the, on the upside, but I'm looking for the sales. Now I was in fact able to catch the opportunity here and I had two entries on the breakout down here. Okay. So, um, overall, anything that I'm looking for, like, I really don't see anything that could, uh, I'm still anticipating this to get down to the 1.38511. If you know how to trade lower time frames, you can go ahead and find some way to get in, to get in here. However, if playing it safe, I would wait for some type of retracement and then look for it to, or at least look for it to break this level. And if it is in fact able to break, um, this, uh, 1.38511 level, then I am going to go ahead and write that down and go ahead and go for, you know, the 50, 60, 70 pips. Um, but this is my main area of interest that I've been mentioning for the last couple of weeks that I still want to pay attention to because overall four hours is still bullish until that level breaks. All right. So now let's go to gold. All right. So gold, <laughs> um, if you haven't been really paying attention to it, uh, let me go ahead and go to the one that I actually marked up. Hold on one second. Oh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Bow, bow, bow. Is that the one I marked up? Is it? Yes, it is. All right. So, so for gold. All right. So I told you guys, I made this very, very clear. All right. I told you that I was expecting gold to still be bullish, but it's kind of fucking with y'all pretty heavy. Okay. So overall, um, it's still bullish. Um, we still have like, uh, some, uh, a pennant activity going on on the daily time frame. So that's something that you really want to pay attention to. All right. Overall, I'm still expecting bullish activity, especially because we had this 1.714 level break period. That's what happened. I told you that I was looking for this level to break first, and then I would be looking for some type of, or price to close above it before I start looking for some bullish action. Okay. We did get the close above. However, we're still in a consolidation range. We got like pendant act activity going on. So, um, if you want to play it real, real close to the vest and you want to be like, I don't even want to risk it because we're in this range in this vicinity right here, then I would say that you're going to wait for one, seven, two, three point nine, four to actually break. And that's when you're going to look to take your buy, op uh, opportunities up to one, seven, five, one point seven, two. You have to really be good at, uh, entering on breakouts. And if you're not, uh, you probably need to take some time to study. All right. Um, if not, like I said, uh, I'm mainly paying attention to this level right here, which is 1681.10. Going to be pay really paying attention to that heavily to figure out if this is going to break. And if that is in fact able to break, then we'll go from there. All right. Um, let's see here. All right, here we go. All right. So for AUD USD, now this was a re uh, request from a another subscriber. They commented, um, and in the comment section, they said, Hey, can you check out AU? AU looks pretty clean. So that's what we're doing today. Like I said, when you guys leave comments and suggestions of stuff that you would like for us to take a look at, we will go ahead and take a look at them. So this is for you. All right. So taking a look at AUD USD, um, overall, um, I, I still see bullish activity, but we have a lot of, um, a, ca a chaotic consolidation that's going on right now. Weekly obviously is bearish. Uh, daily is overall bearish. Um, with, with, uh, a, a small time, uh, bullish activity. Okay. And four hours currently bullish. So if you're looking for the opportunity now, listen, listen to me very closely. Okay. I'm anticipating for this level here at one second. Heck is it at? Where's my label? Where's my label? There we go. So I'm looking for uh, this level. Okay. I'm really, really paying attention to six, five, six, nine, six. If this is able to break, obviously I'm going to be taking some type of breakout opportunity. I'm going to ride this up for 92 pips. Okay. But because of how weekly is looking, I am anticipating we, uh, daily to break. Now, is it going to for sure? No, but I am thinking that it may. Okay. If it does, if this is, so I'm going to, so let me pay attention pay attention. All right. So if I'm able to get the break above here, I'm only going to ride this up. I'm going to cash out majority of my money. Okay. Because, uh, that's, you know, 97 pips. That's a nice, that's a nice pip count. Okay. And especially if you're able to get multiple orders. Secondly, if it, if it shows me signs that it's going to continue, okay. Which probably is not going to happen until midweek or end of the week for the upcoming play. I am going to try to take this all the way up to roughly this price point here, which is 69920. Okay. Overall, like I said, weekly's bearish, daily's bearish, four hours bullish to retrace. Okay. So overall, what I'm thinking is that um, unless this level here is heavily respected and it double tops out, I'm still anticipating this to at least give me 90 pips. Okay. On the breakout type level. 
but I also am anticipating some type of reversal or, or I'm sorry, continuation simply because the weekly time frame is still doing its own thing as well. Okay. So those are the main things that I'm paying attention to. I'm not really going to be looking for any long-term sell plays until the six, until honestly, the six, three, seven, eight, seven level is in fact broken. Okay. So I want to thank you again. Um, that's my, uh, my analysis for the upcoming week. I want to thank you guys for taking the time. Oh, it's mother's day. It's mother's day. So happy mother's day to everybody. As you can tell, I sound a little bit more chipper because a motherfucker got some goddamn sleep. So I got time for that. If you are in fact planning on being a part of a foreign exchange or, uh, or anything, uh, stocks, bonds, treasury bonds, I don't give a damn commodities, oil, corn, shit, whatever. Okay. Just make sure that you take this, this shit seriously. If you want to learn for free, take your ass to babypips.com simple. Okay. They got an education platform. They, they, they teach you, they teach you for free. It's just going to take you a while and you might lose some money along the way. If you want to speed up your learning curve, you're going to need a mentor. You don't got to come to us. So go find one of these motherfuckers that you trust on YouTube and that you like, and see if they, they teach the way that you think or vice versa, or if they even have time for you. I'm just being honest. Okay. Or you can rock with us. Our website is 4X Sniper, um, not 4X, FX Sniper School.com. So you can go there Rock with us if you like the way that we analyze. And you can also go back and look at some of our previous plays and previous calls and see exactly how they played out on the charts. I'm pretty fire with this shit. I'm just saying, I'm just thinking, you know, I'm pretty fire with this shit. Again, if you really rock with the immaterial, you really fuck with us, please like this video. Definitely share it with your friends. Leave a comment if there's any uh, pairs or any, it could be anything, Bitcoin, all that shit. Like, I don't recommend you trading Bitcoin if you're not really like in this or you haven't been in this for a while. But if you want me to analyze it, I'll take a look at it for you guys. Please make sure that you subscribe and you also hit that notification bell because you can get notified via email or notification if you have the YouTube app every single time we upload. It's your girl Scarlett. You know what I'm saying? Appreciate you for Sniper School. I'll catch you guys next week. Peace out. Word up.